Come on, over here. I want to show my friends the shotgun. Oh! Man, you guys ain't even gonna make it to the door. What's up, Zombie Slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Hype Train. Let's play Hype Train! Last video, we were working on our second floor for a bit. We also finished our door defense. I'm done with the door. I've spent way too much time on it. It's good enough. I'm happy with it. All right, today we are going to be continuing the work on the second floor. Basically, we need to get our storage area situated before we can do anything else all right and the next thing we're going to do once we get the once we get this second floor situated is we're going to start working on the towers surrounding the base all right if you're enjoying the video please remember to uncage that like button also if you're new here please subscribe for more daily videos the reason i'm standing so close to my forges is because i'm cold i'm freezing um i keep selling all my jackets to the traders oh man i gotta i gotta start keeping some jackets people I gotta start, you know, saving my jackets, all right? So you see right here, I put down two of the forges over here. This setup is all done. Uh, over here is the three campfires. This setup is all done as well. Um, in between videos, I had my campfire right here, right? Actually, I think I might have done this on video. Honestly, I don't remember. But the thing is, I was uh, I put all the water into this campfire, right? It was like 200 and something water. But you can only fit 15 in a stack. So 15 times 6 is, you know, a lot more than, uh, what is that? Um, it's 30, 60 uh 90 90 water yeah quick math there but might be wrong but either way it's not 200 and something that's for damn sure so uh yeah that's what we're gonna take care of today let's uh let's get this storage area situated shall we all right, um, before we get started on this, though, uh, I, there was an update, okay? Alpha 16.2 has come on over to Stable Branch. Um, my world seems okay. Uh, I was getting some really crazy lag issues. I don't know how much longer this world is going to last. Um, I Don't build in a city, guys. Just do yourself a favor. Do not build in a city. I'm already starting to plan out my next base. Um, I just read on the forums that the Fun Pimps are planning one more point update. They're going to go to point three, and then after that, they're going to consider this build done, and they're going to start working on Alpha 17, okay? So I'm thinking, you know, maybe it, maybe it's 16.3 we might restart our world, and I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking about a build I want to make out in the wilderness, um, but that's not, that's no the here nor there. Um, we need to get, we need to get working on this build. I'd like to, you know, the thing is, I'd like to finish this build, but I don't think I'm going to have enough time to finish it. But I don't want to build it again in the next update because it's just the same thing you saw here. So it's kind of um, it's kind of a double-edged sword there for me, um, personally. So anyway, all right. So what do I do this? We're going to just put that make... No, it's going to have to be like this. There we go. Um, this chest has to come out. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take this chest and bring it all the way over here. And it's going to go in this chest right here. Uh, I'm gonna split some of this stuff up. Gunpowder will probably not normally be in this chest, but for now, I'm just going to allow it. I will allow it. Uh, we're gonna put some iron in there as well. There we go. Does anything else go in there? I'm gonna put the dirt in there for now, just because I don't have another spot for it. And, uh, yeah, that works. Okay, so now we gotta break out that chest. Because that damn chest is in the way. Oh yeah, one other thing about the update. I did talk about the the update when it was an experimental a few videos back. So I'm not going to go over all of the update. But one thing you can do now is make paper. Um, I didn't see that in the update notes. But I probably just missed it. I've been known to miss stuff in the update notes. So we're going to go ahead and make some paper. So let's get some glue and bottled water. And let's see. Um, I'm kind of curious on how many paper you get from one, you know, uh, combine. Uh, that's really all I want to know for now. I don't really need to make paper right now. But it's pretty cool that you can. All right, so paper. So how many, uh, let's just make one. Let's mix it. Um, 7, 0.7 seconds, it's quick. How many paper do you think we get from this? Just one? 10. Oh, wow. That's a really good mix there. I like that. All right, let's um, screw it. Let's make a bunch of paper. Why not? Why not? Okay, so how much time is that going to take? Uh, a couple minutes. There we go. All right, that's awesome. I love that. That's a, that's a good, that's a good, you know, Basically, one wood per paper, one glue makes ten. One bottled, one bottled murky water makes ten. That's really awesome. I freaking love that. I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to get some more bottled water. All right, so this is going fine. I'm actually out of stone, guys. I'm gonna have to farm up some stone. I'm not gonna do it on camera though, um, because you see me hit enough boulders and you know all that. We're gonna be building today. All right, so let's get building. All right, so is this side completely done? I think this side is legit. I don't see any other differences i will do on this side so let's go ahead and start upgrading it we're gonna need quite a bit of concrete for this okay there we go and um all right i really hope i did this right all right so let's go ahead and do that and that yeah 
That goes over two. Yeah, so that's two. Yeah, and then this side's one. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and start upgrading this stuff, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm already building next uh, next season's or, you know, my next uh, time I play uh, build. I'm thinking about maybe digging underground. Um, not living underground. Like, maybe, like, make me, maybe, like, making a big hole and then, like, um, allowing the zombies to drop into it. Um, I've never done that before. A lot of people have done that in the past. Um, I've kind of stayed away from it. I'm not really sure why. I have no reason. I just have stayed away from it. I don't like digging a ton, you know? Two things about digging a ton that will be really awesome. Number one, it will get me a lot of experience. Okay? There's no no two ways about that. It's going to give me a ton of experience. Right? And the other thing is... Let's just... Uh, yeah, let's upgrade all these too. Um, the other thing is I want to do it like in a clay deposit. And then I could just get like free clay. I'm basically like just digging and I'm getting clay. So that should be uh, that should be pretty neat. I think I'm, I think I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna do for next season. Um, this season, I need to put two more two more stories on this thing. One here, one on top, and then on all four corners are gonna be um, are gonna be uh, towers. Now, hopefully, I won't have to restart this world. I'd like to just play this world till off of 17, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Now that I'm putting up daily videos on this, I didn't always put up daily seven days to die videos. Um, but now that I'm putting up daily seven days to die videos, it's a little bit harder not to restart because we're going to be on day like 100 before you know it. Like, I mean, look at last season. And, you know, once I start getting into the 80s, I'm probably going to restart at that point because um, then it just gets a little, uh, you know, I don't know. I think the only word for it is monotonous. All right. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. You might wonder why I'm not doing more of the sides. It's because I don't know what I'm going to do with these sides yet. Um, I'm not going to put doors there, but I am probably going to put windows. I'm thinking about couches along this this wall or, or something. I'm not really sure. The top one's going to be just my bedroom. Um, so, I don't know. We'll have to see how things go. I kind of let... I kind of just... Um, I don't usually plan everything out. I kind of just see where things go. Do I have any more um, ramps? Do I have any more rebar ramps? Not, oh, there we go. Thought I did. All right, so let's put some rebar ramps out here. Okay, and that is good. And that is good. Window, window, window. Ramp. 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 All right, looking good. Looking good. I still have to break these out. Oh. Actually, that looks a little interesting like that, doesn't it? It looks kind of interesting. I don't know. Huh. Do you think that looks cool? What do you think looks better? This? All right, which is just the basic way to do things and just kind of, you know... You know, just the way to do things. Or this, which looks a little bit a little bit more, um, I don't know. Maybe backwards. I probably won't do it for this Let's Play, but backwards. How about this one against the wall and these on the outside? That might look pretty interesting. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not going to... Eh, maybe I will break those out. We'll see. I never know. I never know what I'm going to do until I do it. All right. So, no, 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 no. Like that. Okay. So, these can all be upgraded. Correct. Okay, so this can come across the top, like so. Okay. And this base is going to look cool. And you guys seem really on board with painting it red. I'm a, I'm a little surprised. You guys, um, I don't know why. I just, I don't know. Uh, let's go look at that red in the daylight, actually. Let's uh, let's upgrade these things. This is, this is the way it's going to be. So we can upgrade these. I don't like the thing being that close to the top there. Like, I don't like um, this being here because it kind of looks like it doesn't give any uh, chance for the smoke to leave. But, um, yeah, I'm committed. We're going to leave it there. All right. Uh, I've been known to try and be a little too for, too perfect in my builds. Um, no, no one's ever accused me of that. I just kind of feel like it myself. Like, I, I really slow myself down because I'm like, you know, in the past, I would have been like, no, that can't be like that. That's no, blah, blah. I would have probably put some pipes up there. Mm. I'd really like to put some pipes up there. I'm not going to do it, though. I've done it before. I did it last season. It's been done. Um, we're not going to do it this season. Uh, I need some... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. So let's come on in here and um, let's go look at the red on the outside. Yeah. All right. That looks cool. So uh, I'm trying to think about how I want to do this. Yeah. Let's... You want to do some... You want to do some painting? All right. I can't do any painting yet because I have to get my storage stuff done. This, the storage stuff has to be done this video. Like, I got to get it done. Like, this is crunch time, man. I need to organize everything, you know? Stuff's all over the freaking place. All right, so that is good right there. This should be good up here. 
Uh, we need to make the spot for the other cement mixer on the other side. So the cement mixer is one, two, three away from the side. So this is one, two, three away from the side. So this one comes out and the cement mixer goes there. So this comes out and this comes out and those will be ramps. Um, so how many ramps am I going to need? I don't know. Just make a bunch. Who cares? You can always cook them, you know, just throw the, if you, oh, I made too many ramps. Well, just put them in the freaking, put them in the fire, you know, <laughs> no big deal. All right, so let's go ahead and on face. And there we go, right there. There we go, right there. Did I mention that that shotgun trap right there was uh, made by uh, Z Nation FFS? I think I mentioned that last video. And I'm going to have to stop watching Z Nation's videos because he makes incredible stuff. And it gets in my brain, and I start thinking about how I want to build stuff, and it's just doing what he did, and I don't realize it until, like, you know, until I really think about it, you know? Uh, you ever have that? Like, you don't want to copy? I don't know if you guys care about copying people, but um, for me as a Let's Player, I try and do original stuff as much as possible, although I do use other people for inspiration. But, you know, there's, a, there's this fine line between inspiration and just doing what someone else did. Um, and I try not to do that. I've had to stop watching Paul Source Jr.'s videos because of that. Well, back when I was doing Minecraft. For those of you who don't know, the reason I started doing YouTube was because of Paul Source Jr. Um, do I not have any more... I don't see any more cobblestone blocks. I'm wondering if I use them all. Or if they're downstairs. Hmm. Uh, let's check downstairs really quick. Anyway, I started doing Minecraft, and I, I started because of Paul Sears Jr. I used to watch, watch Paul Sears Jr., and, you know, I would end up, like, building his builds. But I was, like, nobody back then. Like, I mean, not that I'm somebody now, but, you know, I had, like, no subscribers back then. So nobody cared, right? Then I started doing, um, uh, I started getting into uh, the modded se season, uh, the modded stuff on Minecraft. Um, and I started watching uh, Direwolf, Direwolf 20, right? Direwolf 20 is legit, man. The guy's awesome. Um... And when I was watching Direwolf 20, I really started building stuff the way he built it. And people started noticing, and they're like, you know, you're just building what Direwolf did. And I'm like, my whole, my whole answer to that, of you're just building what Direwolf built, is like, I love his videos, and I love watching his videos. And he built stuff in the most, the most legit, uh, like, um, efficient way. So if I see him building something so efficiently, right, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to build inefficiently to be different? Like, I see the way he built, and he built, like, so, I mean, God, like, almost perfectly. And then I was just like, uh, you know, I mean, God, this guy's building, like, perfectly. So what am, what am I to do? What am I to do? Um, so I had to stop watching Direwolf because of that. And I've had to do that with some other people in the past for different games here and there. Um, and I might have to do it for Z Nation, which is a shame because he is legit. You guys should all be watching Z Nation. All right, hard metal doors, don't care there. All uh, right, so that's good. All right, so um, do I have another hatch? I think I have another hatch floating around somewhere. Um, I know I saw it. There it is. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on. Um, again, you know, uh, you make the hatch. I got to put the cement mixer. Should we just make the cement mixer now? Yeah, let's just make the cement mixer now. All right, so we need forged iron springs and engine and mechanical parts. Forged iron springs and engine. I know I have a crappier engine than that. Um, springs, mechanical parts, uh, forged iron, and a crappier engine. What did I do with my forged iron? I must have threw it somewhere. See, that's what I'm saying, guys. I'm completely unorganized, and it's making, you know, it's making it harder for me. There's my forged iron. Let's see if we got the crappy engine. I think we have a crappy engine down here. So what do we got here? Uh, yeah, there we go. 124. That'll work. Where are the screamers, man? These two have been going. Two forges going. Uh, maybe I should get some campfires going. Do I, do I need, do I need to get the campfires going? I'm not going to get them going just for the hell of it. Um, yeah, we can make some, uh, we can make some goldenrod. All right, guys, we got a couple, uh, campfires going. All right, multiple campfires is always helpful. Always helpful. Having one campfire is really rough. Uh, so we get some campfires going. That's good. We should probably move the food chest over here now. Uh, can we do that now? Mm, we can do that now, sure. We're going to need a table. Now, we're using up all our forged iron. Um, so what we need to do is we need to set this up for some more forged iron. I believe we're completely out now. Um, so 169 is not crazy. All right. So we got some forged iron coming up. We got some of that. Okay. I also started up the cement mixer. 
All right, so we got uh, 30 seconds left of that. Um, all right, so let's... Uh, we need to make guns, gun storage crates first. Do we have any more storage crates? I know I made extra storage crates, but again, because my inventory is all over the freaking place, I, this is driving me crazy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I did make some more. Eh, whatever. I'm just going to make them again. I don't really care, to be honest. Uh, we need some nails as well. All right, so this is a problem here. You know what we need? We need another forge. We need another forge. Two forges is not enough. So let's go ahead and make another forge. We're going to need a bellows for that. So uh, let me go ahead and get this forge made. All right, guys. I wouldn't normally do this, but I'm going to keep an eye on the heat in the game because it's kind of weird I haven't gotten a screamer yet. By the way, if you want to know how to see your heat in the game, you press F1, press DM, go to DM mode, and then you press F8 twice, right? Uh, you can't do it on multiplayer servers or anything, at least uh, I don't know how to. Um, and I'm going to keep an eye on that heat because I kind of want that heat. It seems like it's going up really slow, doesn't it? Like, that's... Oh, I'm in different chunks, that's why. No, I'm not. It's starting to go up a little faster. All right, we're going to keep an eye on it. All right. Uh, we need to keep these fires going. Eh, whatever. We're at 70% heat. I just want to make sure the screamers are going to come in properly. Um, you know, the heat going up while I'm watching kind of makes sense. Like, you know, uh, a, a watched pot never boils. You know, when you're watching it, it's not going to happen as quickly. Or at least it's not going to seem like it. All right, so let's put that bad boy in there. Let's uh, put the hatch over it like so. Uh, on face? No. Really, it's not going to work on face. Okay. Well, advanced rotation will work just fine for me. All right. Um, yeah, after going from an experimental to a stable branch, I want to make sure that there's no bugs in this world. So I'm going to keep an eye on the heat just for this one time. Okay, so that looks good to me. All right, looking good. Love it. Loving it. I'm loving it. Don't mean to sound like a McDonald's commercial, but you know. Oh, by the way, I went downstairs and found a bunch of storage boxes. So there's that. Oh, yeah, I was also supposed to make a freaking forge, wasn't I? Uh, you know what? I'll do that off camera. You don't need to see me make another forge. Okay, so this should all be upgraded like that. Um, if this is a wrong color or if it's something I don't like, I can always paint it. It's awesome. Okay, so this is going to come up. This is all going to come up right here. Then this is all going to come up right here. And what we're going to do here is we are going to put down wooden tables. And then we're going to put chests on the wooden tables. And then we're going to put chests on some shelving units. Don't worry, you'll see. It's going to be awesome. All right, so... Um, wooden tables can go right across like so. Alright, then we put some chest on there, like so. Alright, and then, uh, we gotta put... Okay, so we gotta build this up a little higher for this. And the ceiling's gonna be a little bit higher than I imagined it, um, which is fine. The only thing that sucks about putting a, 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 wood, a ceiling that's really high is that, um, you have to, the lights can't just be put on the ceiling, because because if they're so high, you won't get the, uh, the light you know, as much as you'd like. So I can always make some kind of hanging chandelier type thing. It'll be fine. All right, so the next ones will go right here. Yeah, those are going to be high. That's all right. I can move. Oh, no, no, I put them in the wrong spot. Gosh. Darn it. Yeah, I definitely put them in the wrong spot. Ah! Oh, well. Oh, okay, the heat just reset, so I should get a screamer now. I don't hear one, but that doesn't mean I didn't get one. She could just be far away. She could be blocked in a building. Hmm. I'm getting a little worried now. Uh, where's my screamer? I have seen a zombie. I was a little bit worried. Oh, there she is. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, let's turn that off. I'll still keep my FPS up because I'm kind of curious. All right, so the screamers are working. That is awesome. Okay, so uh, what were we doing? Oh, yeah, these boxes. Oh, yeah, we got to break these. Actually, we put them in the wrong way. Ah, we're getting some wood back. It's all right. It's only wood. I'll go, I'll go chop some trees or something. I got to replant my trees, too. I don't think I've done it yet on this, in this world. Uh, advanced rotation. And we want that on top. That looks fine to me. And these are going to be thought of as shelving units. And then we have this on top of the shelving units. All right. That's the setup. Yeah, it looks pretty cool to me. I, um, I can dig it. I can dig it. Okay. So, uh, let me grab my paintbrush, my trusty, trusty paintbrush. Where did that go? I don't know, because like I said, you know what? The paintbrush should be in the tool chest. There you go. See, guys? See? W when you're organized, it's much better. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a lot of these gun safes, um, or gun, you know, chests. Now, how do I want this to work? You know what? We need more nails. 
Oh, we need more nails. All right, that's going to take three minutes. All right, fine. We can wait. Uh, or we could just cancel that and do the nails. Uh, did I not favorite the nails? I did not favorite the nails. What the hell are you thinking? All right, uh, a thousand nails. Nah, I don't think I need a thousand nails. Let's just make 500. I might not need 500, but I don't want to keep making nails. So we're just going to make 500. And we've got 112 forged iron. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, we're going to need some more... Uh, where are they? Here, frames. Let's make another 25 of those. Uh, what else are we going to need? Do we need bolts? Not really. Honestly, I don't really know what else we need in here. Anytime I don't know what we need in here, I just make steel. Right? Because I'm going to want a lot of steel, obviously, for this base. All right, so everything's looking good here. We'll have this make some cement. I'm really getting low on stone. That is going to be an issue, um, but not right now. Okay, so so this five. Okay, so five. So what kind of guns do we have? What kind of guns do we have? We've got... Actually, you know how I could tell what kind of guns we have? We just come in here. Um, actually, I could, I could sort these by weapons, right? Okay, so we have... Uh, oh, no, these are not snow. Firearms. There we go. Oh, God, there's a lot. Okay, well, whatever. All right, so we got um, pistols, rifles, shotguns. Pistols, rifles, shotguns. You think that's good enough? Three? Pistols, rifles, shotguns, automatics. Pistols, rifles, shotguns, and automatic. Pistols, rifles, shotguns, auto Okay, four. Yeah, I think, that, I think that works for me. Pistols, rifles, shotguns, automatic, and explosive type stuff. Okay. All right, so this is going to be like... Nope, 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 nope. Like that. Oh, I need the paint. <laughs> Who's forgetting about the paint? Oh, we gotta go check my farm. Damn, well, not we. I'm gonna go without you, because, you know, <laughs> I don't think anybody likes watching me check my farm. I have to do that, though. Like, today. Um, as a matter of fact, what do we need for paint? I should make sure I'm, I'm farming everything I'm gonna need for paint. All right, cotton's not too hard of a problem, but chrysanthemums. I'm gonna have to look through and see what kind of chrysanthemums I have, because we're gonna have to start farming that. All right, so gun, gun, gun. And then explosives. Explosives will be for rocket launchers and um, pipe bombs, explosive bolts, stuff like that. We're only going to need one box for ammo. So there we go. And uh, what else are we going to want to put down here? I don't know. I'll worry about that later. Let's let's uh, let's come on over here and do the same thing over here. Uh, we can have enough. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. That's going good. Uh, while that stuff's doing its thing, why don't we take some nails and go ahead and make some more boxes. We're getting really low on wood as well. Uh, that is a problem. That is a problem. Storage box is 28. I don't think we need 28. Let's just make 12 for now. Alright, and we're also going to need more catwalks. Um, probably just a couple more catwalks. Alright, remember they're supposed to go upside down for this setup. So you, you you see how like the green box is below the catwalk? That's important because that, it's going to say that the, the catwalk is basically taking that green box, right? Um, so you want to do it like that so you can put the chest on top of the catwalk, right? See? There we go. Okay, looking good. I don't know what I'm going to put over there. I'll do transferring off camera. Uh, what do we want to do next? I mean, we're making some real progress here. Well, let's uh, let's come on over here. And go ahead and make this our food supply chest. There we go. And this is going to remain my healing chest. Um, I never intended to have my healing stuff with my food supply stuff permanently. They just don't mix. Like there's some things that in a in a in a health chest that I don't want mixing with my food, like uh, old sham sandwiches, um, blood bags, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and grab all the food out of here. Oh, we got no room. God darn it. You want to get the airdrop for the remaining part of the video? I think that could really mix up the video pretty well. What do you think? All right, so we're just going to put some of our building stuff in here for the time being. That should be plenty of room for the airdrop. Let's go get the airdrop to round off the video. We've got a lot done today. I'm really happy with the way this is coming out. Uh, and, you know, I, that, did that... Screamer not see me? Or, oh, here we go. Okay, so this is what I wanted. I wanted a bunch of zombies to come in because I want to test my frame rate. And then we'll go get the airdrop. Wow, that is a bunch of zombies. There we go. Over here, guys. Okay, so we got a pretty decent amount of zombies here. Keep an eye on the frame rate. It's okay. It's not bad. It's a little jumpy, but I'm okay with that. Uh, here we go. Get some experience here. There we go. 
kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you, kill you, got you, you're dead, you're all dead. Come on guys, go for the door. Here, why don't we make you guys go for the door? That'll be pretty cool. Come on. Come on, over here. I want to show my friends the shotgun. Oh! Man, you guys ain't even going to make it to the door. Now, the shotgun turret is in a very small place, so it is going to hit my walls. I don't think there's much I can do about that. Uh, it's the best I can do, though. Okay. So what I would do is, I would leave this off, unless the zombies were right at my door. Honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have it shooting on an angle like that anyway. Come on, guys. Come to the door, you morons. Come on. Come on, come to the door. I want to hear my lovely, lovely dart chops. Come on. There you go. Yeah, those dart chops really screw with your, uh, with your frame rate. No doubt. No doubt. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Looking good. Man, the door is solid. Guys, the door is, um... The door is pretty freaking solid, I think. Alright, let's go out and get that airdrop. I'm gonna drop some stuff in here. Uh, there we go. That's good enough. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the carnage. Look at the carnage. Whoops. Wait a minute. Instant trigger. Okay. Alright. Alright, guys. Let's go get that airdrop like I promised. Oh boy, oh, we got a lot done today. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the sides tomorrow. Um, I don't know if, how much I'm gonna do the side. I don't know. I'll probably do one more building video. We'll do the sides, build that up. I want that room built up. The next thing we're gonna have to do is uh, decide where the windows are gonna go on the sides we haven't built, and then we need to uh, start thinking about the roof, and then we need to decide where we're gonna. Oh God, that was really close, wasn't it? And then we're gonna have to decide where we're gonna put the lights. Wow, that was incredibly close. How does an air drop drop that close? All right, a, a yellow AK barrel, a sniper rifle receiver. Pretty good airdrop. Pretty good airdrop. All right, guys, um, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, I think this is a pretty freaking productive video. You let me know what you think in the comments about the build. Um, I'm going to do some uh, farming off camera, a bunch of stuff. We'll see, what, we'll see where we end up next video. But anyway, um, I'm going to call this one here, and I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.